Hey guys, so today I have for you seven most effective ab exercises that you can do at home. The great thing about these is that you're gonna need minimum amount of equipment, just a basic home equipment such as sliders. And it doesn't have to be anything special. I use furniture sliders that I buy in Home Depot. And you can use anything that slides on the floor that you're on. So if you're on a hardwood floor, you can use um, hand towels or a pair of thick socks, anything basically that slides on that floor. If you're on a carpet, then you can use magazines or paper plates, just anything that you can find at home that slides. And then you may or may not want to use ankle weights. The ankle weights are not necessary for you to still get great benefits out of these exercises however they do add that extra challenge and extra tension on on that midsection which is which is kind of what we want so adding those to these exercises using the ankle weights for these exercises is gonna just you know make them a little more effective so I'm going to show you what the exercises are, but before I get to it, I just wanted to give you a little, um, little pep talk about diet and exercise just in general, because I don't want you to think that just by doing these exercises once a week or, or once is going to make a whole difference, a huge difference for you, because it's not. What you need to do, especially if you have like a layer of insulation around your midsection then this this kind of workout alone is not going to help you very much you have to do full body workouts high intensity workouts circuit workouts these type of routines i have in the z gym i have tons of them tons to choose from i have a weekly workout schedule so that you don't have to guess which workout you should be doing on any given day you just show up you know click on the workout and just do it in the comfort of your own home and you need to be consistent so five days a week high intensity workouts they don't they're not long you know they're like usually my workouts are around 12 to 20 minutes long that's the average length of my workouts but they are intense and they will burn the fat off so if you have extra insulation then you need to do a lot more um, than this type of workout. These ab workouts are great when you're already doing full body workouts, high intensity workouts, and you just want your abs to pop a little bit more, then these workouts are great for that. And you, then you're gonna start, once you burn that layer of insulation off, then you're gonna start seeing nice definition that this these exercises can, can really give you. Um, and the other thing is obviously diet, you know, like the way you eat, how you eat, what you eat is very important. You cannot have this mindset of, hey, I want to have a great body. I want to feel amazing in my body, but I also want to enjoy myself all the time. That just doesn't work together. It doesn't go together. It doesn't exist. Just forget about that. Okay. So it's possible to have to feel great in your body and look great and have a great level of fitness if you're okay to you know you know enjoy yourself eating carbs and drinking alcohol and all that stuff or eating processed foods if you want to do that every once in a while that's perfectly fine every once in a while i have a pizza every once in a while i you know uh, drink alcohol stuff like that but i don't do it all the time because what I want more is feel great in my body. I really want to feel great in my body. My fitness is more important to me. So that's what I do, um, you know, 80, 90% of the time. And then every once in a while, yeah, sure, I have, you know, dessert or I have this or that, but not all the time because those two things just don't work together. So just forget about it, right? It, there, you cannot expect to have great results in your fitness if you're not willing to change your diet and nutrition so i know that a lot of you guys hate to hear that <laughs> you know um i've been there obviously and it takes time to kind of adjust to a new lifestyle but it's definitely doable just don't expect that it's going to be super easy because it never is you know every time you go through a period of growth um, and I mean what I mean by that 
going from who you are right now to the person that you really want to be the improved new version of you the happier more satisfied version of you there's gonna be a transition and that transition is never comfortable and it's never easy and it's never effortless it's always challenging and it's always uncomfortable so just get you know um just go, get on board with that that there is going to be a transition towards the better you the improved you the happier and more satisfied you okay so now let's get to these exercises the first exercise is a roll back and you can use the ankle weights for this exercise to make your abs work a little harder this exercise targets your lower abs as well so this is a really great exercise i like it a lot and uh, i use it a lot in my workouts so you're gonna lay on your back and then you're gonna lift your knees up and your hips completely off of the ground. I tend to keep my shoulder blades off of the ground as well. So you're gonna roll back, lift the hips off of the ground and you can also swipe your hands underneath your hips just to make sure that you're really lifting the hips off of the ground. The second exercise is side crunch, also one of my all-time favorite exercises for abs. This one targets your obliques and it helps you to make your waist appear a little slimmer. So for this one, you can also use the ankle weights for extra challenge. So what you're going to do is that you're going to get on your side. Make sure that you're not laying on your hip bone, but more on that soft part of your glutes. And then you're going to support yourself with the bottom arm the shoulder blade and the shoulder are off of the ground and then you're gonna bring the knees up and go towards your knees you're supported with your elbow here extend and really pull the belly button into your spine really focus on that the third exercise is knee hugs so basically it's a sit up you can also use the ankle weights for this one you're gonna start by laying on the ground pressing the lower back into the ground and you're gonna sit up and hug your knees so before i'm going to show you the rest of the app exercises let me introduce you to green chef because this might be a really good option for you if you want to get your diet on the right track green chef is a ccof organic certified company that delivers high quality meal kits with chef curated recipes and green chef also offers a variety of lifestyles so you can choose from keto paleo vegan vegetarian gluten-free fast and fit or mediterranean and also every week you can choose from new recipes so you can discover new flavors while sticking to your lifestyle I like having Green Chef delivered to my doorstep because it saves me a lot of time. I spend less time in the grocery store and planning meals and more time doing the things that I actually enjoy doing. The ingredients come already pre-measured and mostly prepped and they come with easy to follow step-by-step -step recipes. So when you order from Green Chef, not only you get high quality, nutritious, home-cooked meals that are easy to prepare, but you also get restaurant quality, delicious flavors. And now you can take advantage of a discount code that I have for you. So if you go to greenchef.com and use the code ZUSKA130, then you get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. So go to greenchef.com to learn more and I will also have a link for you in the description below. The fourth exercise is side plank lift and there is not much point of using the ankle weights unless you do extra leg lift at the top of that exercise. So I'm going to show you right now. The side plank lift is just this. So hips down, squeezing your glutes, pulling the abs in and then hips up. Now you can use the ankle weights by doing a leg lift in this position and then go down. 
or you can do a knee tuck like this. There are hollow leg extensions. These are challenging, so try them first without the ankle weights. Lay on your back. You're gonna press the lower back into the ground. Lift your knees up, shoulder blades off of the ground, arms by your sides. And from here, you're gonna be focusing on pulling the abs in. And also imagine that you wanna use your lower abs to pull your hip bones together. That kind of mind-muscle connection really helps you to tighten everything up here. And then once you're focusing your mind onto your abs, you're gonna extend your legs, try to bring, bring them lower. But make sure that you're not lifting your lower back off of the ground at all. So extend, keep that belly flat. So these are quite challenging just on their own, even without the ankle weights. And so just try that first. And then if you need that extra challenge, then use the ankle weights. The sixth exercise for your abs that I absolutely love and I use it a lot in my workouts is frog slide. So you're gonna need your sliders for this one. And if you use the ankle weights for this exercise, you're gonna make it a lot more challenging and your abs are gonna have to work a lot harder. So try it first without the ankle weights, see how that feels. And then if you want more challenge, use the ankle weights on top. And we're gonna start in the plank position. So hands underneath your shoulders. You're gonna protract your, your shoulder blades, your scapula. So this is retraction, squeezing them together and pulling them apart is protraction. Then you're going to pull your abs in. Imagine again, you're pulling your belly button into your spine, really tense everything. Imagine that somebody wants to kick you in the abs. That's how you want to tense them. Make sure that everything is tight. And then you're going to get into the plank, squeeze your glutes and squeeze your thighs. And then you're going to um, slide your feet forward and your knees towards the outside of your elbows like a frog and then back squeeze your glutes again again pull the belly in and the last exercise is again sliding exercise this one is going to target your obliques as well so you're going to again start in that plank position just like you would for the frog slide starting position then you're going to cross your feet and turn your body a little bit sideways. Now you're gonna slide your feet forward towards your hands, knees towards your chest. Squeeze your glutes again. And don't forget that you have to do the same amount of reps always on the other side as well. So now you can do these exercises at home on a regular basis, or you can do a really badass 20 minute workout with me that uses these exercises. I did this workout for Z Gym, so you just have to sign up for Z Gym and look up Black Diamond workout number 28 for abs. It's a crazy workout. It's gonna give you really awesome burn in your abs. And that's it. So guys, eat healthy, make sure that you are exercising on a daily basis, sign up for a Z gym so that we can work out together every single day. And I will see you guys next time here on YouTube or in the Z gym. Ciao.